c'est sur le vivre ensemble qui se construisait et cette question c'est elle a été aussi posée sur le terrain de noisy grand je suis désolé je le prépare en anglais alors <rire> very sorry i prepared it in english for from the international middle school of noisy grand Um, uh, so this is Anne-Laure my colleague, she's a guidance counselor, and Anne-Laure and Nico, I'm English teacher and head of foreign language department. Um, so we worked on a new discipline policy towards an absence of sanctions in school. First of all, how it all started, we're a new school. We opened in September 2014. We're a pedagogical, experimental, and innovative school. Classes last 45 minutes, students run their own clubs. There's no grading, we assess only skills according to the European standards. Uh, we, have a, we use largely digital material and there is no language test when the students apply for our school. Um, we, all, all, we have also a new staff, apart from the language teachers, we're all uh, recruited through the normal system. And what the feedback we had on year one, because when we opened, uh, we did not put the system in place yet, It was put in place the second year. So the first year we noticed there was only two expulsions and 40 hours of detention. So we thought we might as well carry on this way. The aim is in acting in a responsible, yes, in acting in a responsible and respectful way. Students impact the school's climate and in this way contribute to the success of all students. Uh, students in our school are encouraged to think on their own and when needed to find a solution to repair the, their misconduct. Um, the system is based on discussion, as you will see, uh, which establishes respect in between students and also between students and adults. There's mutual, mutual help uh, since some incidents are sorted out in small groups of kids only. Adults do not interfere and it enables um, it enabled to put in place new strategies to all work and live together at school. So the different stages um, of this um, discipline policy for minor incidents, uh, it's always based on dialogue and according to whether uh, the problem has been sorted out or not, um, more and more people come in uh, to the discussion uh, and it's usually solved in stage two when the head teacher and there is dialogue between the student, the parent, the head teacher usually <coughs> sorted out. Um, for major incidents, what we call major incidents, it's everything that has to do with bullying, being psychological, verbal, um, what is it again, uh, physical or digital or any type of violence. This, um, in this case, the family is directly contacted and they have to come for an interview with the principal. Um, so what is to come ahead with this policy? Where well, year two, 2015-2016, the first sanction was given in May only, and there were only two international suspensions. And in year three, which is this year, we're trying to carry on this policy, and we have new pedagogical means, which are tested, such as philosophical <laughs> debates, and we have two types of homerooms. Uh, one is directly put in the timetable of the students, and one which can be ordered at any time by the head teacher um, to sort out a problem or to discuss it with the class. Right. Thank you for listening.